Hi, I'm Manuel. Welcome back to the last video of our Athena project. In the last video, we learned how to use Athena, so how to query data with Athena that was stored before in S3. We didn't take a look so far at an option how to visualize that information actually. This is the purpose of this video. We will take a look at how we can connect QuickSight, the business intelligence tool of AWS, to Athena. Let's do this right now. One important information before we start. If you never worked with QuickSight and you don't even know what that is, just take a look at another video that I made. In this video, you will get an introduction to QuickSight and see how you can create an account. As soon as you got this account, you can now start right here together with me. So I am back in the management console right here and we want to find QuickSight right now. Let's select it right here. Now we are in QuickSight and as I said, just make sure to take a look at the other video to understand what exactly you can see right here. To make it quick, this is just an overview of the existing analysis that I have in QuickSight. Now before we connect QuickSight to Athena, we have to make sure that QuickSight has the rights to access information that is stored in Athena. Now to do this, we go to our settings right here and go to manage QuickSight right there. In there, we can go to the account settings right here. Here you can find the account permissions and if you click on to edit AWS permissions right there. And right here, you can now enable QuickSight to be allowed to access Amazon Athena right here and also specify the S3 buckets that QuickSight is allowed to access. So make sure that you tick all these boxes to be able to really analyze the data that you queried in Athena. So if you click apply right here now, because this is totally fine, then we can go back to the main menu and then we only have to make sure one thing. And this one thing can be found right here in the regions. We talked about that in the S3 video and in the Athena video. But the important thing right here is that the region that you select for QuickSight is the same that you selected for Athena. Because otherwise, the data that you have in Athena cannot be accessed by QuickSight. So that's important. Keep that in mind before you start working in QuickSight right now. Now we made sure that we have the right settings. So it's time to kind of retrieve the data now. So to do this, we need a data set. And we can find that by going to New Analysis and clicking onto New Dataset right here. Now you can see lots of different options where you can connect QuickSight to, but we only want to take a look at Athena right here. Now if you click onto that, then you can enter a name for the data source. I don't know, I will name that YouTube Population, oops, Athena maybe. And if you now click on to create data source right here, then you can see that, well, QuickSight found the database. And I have to say that again, if the regions are not the same, so the region for QuickSight and for Athena, this won't work. So make sure that these regions are the same. However, we got our database now. And if you click on to select right here, you can see that you can choose between the two databases that we have. So the default one and the YouTube population, this is the one we need. And now you can specify which table that you want to visualize in QuickSight out of these tables that you have in your database. So this could be table two, for example. Now you have two different options. You can either press select or edit preview data. The difference is that if you press select, you will directly be able to visualize the data. And if you press edit or preview data, then you can prepare the data before you actually, well, load them into QuickSight and by that visualize them. So let's press edit preview data first to see if everything is correct right here. Now the data is loading. Yeah, and I think this looks quite nice. As I said, this video is not about the details regarding the functionalities of QuickSight. It's more about the connection between QuickSight and Athena. An important thing is maybe that you can specify if you want to query the data in Athena directly right here, or if you want to load the data into SPICE. This is the internal memory or storage of QuickSight. And this means that QuickSight treats the information in Athena as a database. That's important to know. 
And with that, if you change the data source type to spice, then you would be allowed to even join tables, which are within the same database, in QuickSight. Well, with our data, this doesn't make a lot of sense, so we cannot use that join feature right here. But what we can do is, we can simply press onto save and visualize right there. Let's click onto that. Now we see that the information is imported into QuickSight and by that into Spice. As I said, this is this internal memory QuickSight has and this may take a few seconds. So let's wait for that until the import is complete. Now the import is done and as you can see, all data was imported correctly. So we can now close that import complete message right here. Well, and now simply create a chart. For example, let's create a bar chart, something like that maybe, and drag the time as the x-axis and maybe the female population right here and the male population also right there. You can see this add symbol right here, so we can add the information. Well, if we now close that field wells maybe, or before we close it, let's open it and change the sorting because it's kind of wrong. So we can change it right here, like that. And if you now increase the size maybe like that, and also change the number formatting, sorry for that, but I don't like that to be honest. So let's change it right here, like that. So it looks better. Right now it's good, I think. Well, then this is how you can now visualize information that you stored in S3, that you queried with Athena, and that you then connected with QuickSight to visualize it. And if you now click right here onto this QuickSight symbol, then you can find your analysis right here in this analysis menu. And if you go to manage data right here, then you can also find your data set right here saved in Spice. And this is it actually. This is our Athena project. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope that you saw how you can connect different AWS big data solutions with each other and how this whole workflow makes sense in the end. You have the storage in S3, you have Athena to query the information and you have QuickSight in the end to visualize the information. And everything happens in the cloud and the calculation is not done on your machine. So with that, the only thing I can say right now is thanks a lot for watching this series and for being part of it actually. And I hope this helped you to clear some things up when working with some AWS solutions. Additionally, this might also be a big help, especially Athena, if you have a big file that you want to analyze. So if this happens the next time, don't think only about Excel maybe. Also think about solutions like Athena, because this can make your life a lot easier sometimes. And with that, I can only say thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you in the next videos. Bye bye.